And the next story for you, Bishop Bling or the Bling Bishop. So this has been a story, this has been talked about quite a lot all over the media. I wanted to cover it because you guys know I'm not Catholic, but I am in love with Pope Francis. He is like one of the greatest popes in my lifetime. I've only had three. Um, but he is amazing because he's one of the few popes that will call that it was he's totally not he's totally not cool with controversy and he will call you to the mat if you mess up and he is calling Bishop Bling or the Bling Bishop to the map. Now this bishop's name is Bishop Franz Peter Talbots von Elst. Von Elst. I'm not German, so don't judge me. Who has been suspended? Um, by Pope Francis. He's known as the Bishop of Bling, and he was suspended for spending over $55 million in church tithe money, in Catholic church money, renovating his official residence, including a $20,000 tub, $1.1 million garden, a $4 million private chapel, and a $35,000 single conference table. I thought, I mean... If I know the Bible correctly, he tells you that, you know, people who serve and do his work should sort of be like humble and meek. There's nothing about a one point four million dollar garden that's meek or a four million dollar private chapel that's meek, if you ask me. But the good news here is, is that the Pope has brought him down, called him down to the table. Pope Francis has suspended this Pope and has ordered both this pope, I mean, excuse me, both this bishop and his replacement to report to the Vatican immediately to deal with these issues. He's like, uh-uh, I'm putting a stop to this right here, right now. Pope Francis, that is why I love you. Viva la Papa. He's one of the few popes. He didn't do the popal residence. He lives in the one-room apartment, no pope mobile, washing the feet of normal people, loves the gays, love this pope. God save the Pope. Love Pope Francis. He is just like the, I would almost call him the modern day progressive Pope. I know people don't agree with me, but I, hey, 